hello everyone welcome again so now in this video we are going to discuss how you can start the selenium server so basically there are two ways by which you can start the selenium server one with the help of command prompt and one with the help of eclipse so let me open my command prompt first and I'm going to navigate to the location uh, where my selenium server jar is there so here here is my selenium server jar in order to start it I'm going to use java minus jar selenium server dot jar and as you can see that our server has been started and it is running on localhost at this default port when you don't specify any port by default it is it is going to run on 4444 port so let us suppose I want to start the server on some different port that can be done with the help of one command line argument called port so java again java hyphen jar selenium server dot jar and the command line argument will be hyphen port and specify the port number so now if you look at the log our server has been started but this time it is running at the port 1234 so with the help of this particular command line you can specify any desired port for starting the selenium server now let's say you want to redirect this entire output to some different file now that can be done with the help of one more command line, command line argument that is log so hyphen log specify the log file so let's say selenium.log so now whatever the log which is generated by this selenium server it is going to redirect to this particular log file so let me open that particular thing so here is, here is our log file and I am going to open it so as you can see that whatever the log which we are getting at the console now it has been redirected to this particular file so this is the one way by which you can start the selenium server from the command prompt so I am going to kill this server so the another way is with the help of Eclipse so again I will open the Eclipse inside this folder I am going to add one class file let me call it as test server and yeah I need a main method for this now for this one I need to add the particular server jar uh, to the class path of this project so in a similar manner you can add it just we did it for this one so once this is done now in order to start the server from the eclipse we need to take the help of a class called selenium server so all the method of starting stopping the server are provided inside this class so first of all we need to create an object of this class and using that object I am going to start the server so again here private selenium server let me call it server as null sorry server and I am going to initialize this with null I am going to create one public method public void start server so inside this method I am going to start our server so first of all I need to instantiate this object so server equal to new selenium server and it is going to throw me some exception so I am going to use throws keyword followed by the exception class now once this is done with the help of the server object I am going to start the server so for that server dot there is a method called start so as soon as this method is encountered our server will start so let me put a debug point over here and let me call this method so if I want to call this method uh, I need to create the object of this method so again try catch and it will be e dot print stack trace and I'm going to create the object of test server obj equal to new test server and obj dot start server so let me run this class file in debug mode so 
so as you can see that as soon as this method is encountered our server has been started so if I open the lock sorry if I open the console you can see that server has been started on the local machine and same the default port because we didn't specify any port explicitly so let us suppose you want to specify some different port you don't want to start uh, the selenium server at the same port so now for that I'm going to take the help of this remote control configuration class this class provides the flexibility of running to the different port means with the help of this class you can configure your server object to do some extra activities also for example running on different port redirecting output to some different locked file accepting the SSL certificate and so on so again in order to use that particular class I'm going to create an object of that class so remote control configuration RC equal to null and here I'm going to in instantiate that particular object so RC equal to new remote control configuration and if I want to set the port I need to use RC dot set port and here you need to specify the port number on which you want to run the server so let's say 4546 and rc dot set log output file so I'm going to specify the log output file c colon backslash so it will be at the same location dot log and we need to pass this object inside the constructor of the selenium server so if I remove this thing and if you look at we have one more constructor you can say overloaded con constructor which will take the object of remote control configuration class so I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use this object for configuring our server so now let me rerun it once again so as you can see that now our port has been started sorry our server has been started on the local host but this time it is running on the port 4546 which we have specified here and similarly the log file uh, the output the similar output will be redirected to the this particular log file now once this is done so let's say you want to stop the server now in order to stop the server all you need to do is to call the stop method which is provided by again selenium server class so let me rerun it once again so as you can see that our server started and after that it has stopped because we encountered the stop method so in this manner with the help of selenium server class you can start the server or stop the server and if you do so if you require some extra configuration such as you want to run a different port or you want to redirect the log file uh, sorry log to some different file you can take the help of remote control configuration class so that's all for this video and thanks for watching